Hey guys, my name is Rob, and I'm in charge of education at eGrow. eGrow is a full service tool that assists Amazon FBA sellers in product research and keyword research. Today I'm going to be discussing some research strategy, as well as show you how the eGrow tool can help make your research process easier. Let's get started. The first eGrow tool that I will be showing you is the product tracker. The product tracker allows you to collect data over a long period of time for prospective products that you might consider selling. Now, the first thing that we need to do is add a new product to the product tracker. This can be done by clicking the plus icon. And here we can either enter an ASIN or an Amazon listing URL. I've already identified a product to add to my product tracker. So I'm going to go to the listing and you can see that it is a 100 foot garden hose. I'm going to copy the URL and paste it here into eGro. As you can see, the URL has been converted to an ASIN and it's a valid ASIN, so we can go ahead and click next. I should also mention that you can add multiple products to the product tracker at one time. This can be done by simply separating each ASIN with a comma or a new line. Here is where we can add tags to the product within the product tracker. This is very helpful once you start having a large number of products to track and you want to sort them into different categories. So as you can see, I already have four tags in my product tracker. And since this is a garden hose, I will add the gardening tag to this product. Now we can click add products and we can see that this product has now been successfully added to the product tracker. So let's go back to the product tracker main page. And if we scroll down, we can see that this garden hose is now included in the product tracker. In order to utilize the gardening filter or tag that we added to the garden hose, I can simply click on that tag. And now you can see that only products that contain the gardening tag are displayed here within the product tracker. The product tracker gives us a bunch of valuable information, including product info, such as the full name of the listing, any brand information, as well as the ASIN, the seller, and the date that we added this product to the product tracker. Moving over to the right, we get the category best seller ranking or BSR for each product. As you can see for this first item, the BSR is 1,095 in the sports and outdoors category. We also get some chart information that I will go into more detail a little bit later, but just know that this is a great way to visualize uh, the information being displayed over a period of time. Next, we get the price, um, the number of sellers, information about the reviews, and, and much more. Another thing I'd like to draw your attention to is the listing quality score. This is an algorithm that we have developed here at eGrow in order to determine the quality of a particular listing. So zero means that the listing is very low quality and 100 means that the listing is of a very high quality. So a 67 means that this is a fairly good listing, uh, but there are some improvements that we might be able to make should we want to start selling this product. Um, maybe there needs to be better high quality pictures, maybe the title could be adjusted or different keywords could be added, uh, but there are ways that we could improve this listing quality score with further research. You can also customize the columns that are displayed for the products by clicking on the list icon and selecting which columns you would like to display. So for example, if we would like to include weight as information displayed in the product tracker, I can simply check that box. And now the weight of the product 
is displayed here in the product tracker. This is something that I like to keep in mind when I'm doing product research because now we can see that this hose weighs almost 20 pounds. And that's just something to take into account uh, when we're calculating shipping costs and other associated fees. Now I'm going to open the chart for a product that's been in the product tracker for a little while. So for this first item, you can see that the data is displayed from January 30th all the way to today. And what we see now is both the number of estimated sales as well as the best seller ranking. And this makes sense because as we can see, the best seller ranking is trending downwards and the estimated sales are trending upwards. If we'd like to uh, remove something from this chart, we can simply click on the name and now BSR is no longer displayed here on the chart. If we'd like to get some information about the price, we can simply click that. And now the price of the product and its changes over time are displayed. We have two options if we would like to export the information in this chart. You can come over to the right side and click the download icon. That exports the chart as a CSV file, or we can click the camera icon, and that has downloaded the chart as an image. Now, if we close the chart and come back to the main page of the product tracker, I'd like to also draw your attention to the fact that you can enlarge the image for these products simply by hovering over that image. This is helpful if you want to get a better look at some of the details of an individual product. There are two ways to delete an item from the product tracker. You can simply check all of the items that you would like to delete and come to the top and click the trash can. Alternatively, if you'd like just to delete one item, you can come over to the right side and simply click the trash icon here. The last feature of the product tracker that I would like to show you today is how to export all of the information that we see on the screen. So I've removed the gardening tag and now we have all of the products displayed here in my product tracker across a variety of categories. So to export all of this information, I can simply come to the top and click the download icon. And now all of this information has been exported as a CSV. This is very helpful if you'd like to manipulate the data outside of eGro and do your own calculations and research to determine if any of these products might be something that you want to start selling. So I hope this gives you a brief overview of some of the features of the product tracker and how this tool can be extremely useful for looking over data for a period of time. Uh, this will allow you to really determine if these products are something that you'd like to add to your FBA portfolio. Now that we've learned how to use the product tracker and collect data for these products, let's go to the rank tracker. Just as the product tracker allows us to track data for prospective products over a period of time, the rank tracker allows us to track keywords and the product's performance for these keywords over a period of time. So before I get into how to add a product and the associated keywords to the rank tracker, let's just discuss some of the features of the rank tracker. So as you can see, I have five products or projects included here in my rank tracker. We have an image and a description of the title, as well as the sales rank or BSR for the product within its category. So as you can see for this first product, uh, which is a large water bottle, we can see that this product ranks 1,303 in the sports and outdoors category. And the red uh, negative 58 uh, tells us that this 
product has gone down 58 spots um, recently within this category. But we have some trend information um, which shows us more chart data. I will open up those charts in a minute. We also have the average search volume for all of the keywords associated with the specific product. The average position of the product for each of the keywords that we're tracking, as well as the number of instances that this product ranks in the top five, 10, and 30 positions uh, for each keyword. We also have the weekly change for the average position. And then lastly, the number of keywords that we are tracking for the specific product. Now that you have a general idea of the information displayed here in the Rank Tracker homepage, let's go ahead and add the garden hose here to our Rank Tracker. I will click the Add Project Plus icon. And just as we did in the product tracker, I will paste the URL and it is converted to an ASIN. If you already have the ASIN recorded, you can go ahead and just put that in uh, as well. Uh, something I'd like to draw your attention to here is this checkbox that says track parent product and variations. And generally, we always want to select this box. I'll just go back to the Amazon listing page for a second. And as you can see, there are multiple variations of this garden hose. So it looks like we are tracking the 100 foot garden hose, uh, but there is also a 50 foot garden hose um, that appears to be out of stock right now. But there probably is some historical sales data uh, for uh, this 50 foot hose as well. So in order to be able to track the information uh, for uh, all variations of this product, uh, we will go ahead and select this checkbox. Uh, this also applies to products that come in various sizes or colors. Uh, so just keep that in mind as you are doing your keyword research. Let's click Next. And here we can add the keywords that we want to track for this specific product. You might be wondering, how do I figure out what keywords are associated with this product or what keywords is this product ranking for? Uh, something that eGrow offers to help you with this is a reverse ASIN search. And this can be found up here under Tools and then just select Reverse ASIN Research. And this will give you quite a bit of information about uh, the keywords that this product is ranking for in particular. However, I've already done that, so I'm not going to demonstrate that today, but just know that that is an option for you. So uh, some of the keywords that I would like to track for this product are, uh, let's see, we'll do hose, and then I'll just hit enter, uh, garden hose, and out door hose. Uh, there, oops, there are um, a number of keywords uh, for this specific product, um, but just for demonstration purpose purposes, I'm only going to include three. So we will click Add Project. And now we have the option to show the project specifically or we can just go back to the rank tracker. So let's go back and see how it looks on the homepage. So as you can see, this hose is now included in our rank tracker. And you might be wondering, hey, like the, you know, there's not a lot of data here or it's not displaying a whole lot of information. That's okay, that's normal. Uh, this will update every day uh, at the end of the day. Uh, so by tomorrow, uh, the rank tracker will start displaying the tracked data for all of these keywords. So rather than going into the product that we just added, let's take a look at one of the products that I've already had in my rank tracker for quite a while. 
So let's maybe go back to the top and click on uh, the water bottle. And here you can see a lot of information about what we're tracking for uh, this specific product. At the top, we have average value squares. So on the left, you can see the average organic position for this product uh, for each of its tracked keywords. We can also see that the minimum organic position is two, uh, which is really good. And the maximum organic position is 28, which uh, still is not all that bad. Uh, the average ranking page for each of its keywords, um, and then some of the uh, more recent changes in its position. So these average value squares are a great way uh, just to get a brief overview and snapshot of how the product is performing. Um, if we move down, we can actually see the particular keywords uh, that we are tracking for this product, as well as the the search volume uh, for uh, these keywords. So just by taking a look at this, we can see that um, non-toxic water bottle is uh, something that is at least somewhat frequently searched on Amazon, but something like flip top leak proof sports water bottle is not. So this is uh, great for us because now we know that if we want to list a similar uh, type product, that maybe these keywords with lower search volume are not necessarily worth our time. We also see the number of competing products uh, for each of these keywords, as well as the trends uh, uh, for these keywords. So let's just go ahead and open up uh, a graph for one of the keywords. And you can see uh, the organic positioning over time uh, uh, of this product for the non-toxic water bottle keyword. So a uh, couple blips, but overall uh, fairly consistent. We can also see the organic positioning uh, of the product for the specific keyword, and then the last time that this information was updated. Uh, today is May 8th, 2020, uh, so we can see that this information was updated last night. So this is all of the information that you can see within a specific project in the Rank Tracker. So I will go back to the main page of the Rank Tracker and just uh, click on uh, the trends uh, as promised so you can also see what's displayed in those graphs. So we have uh, the average positioning of the product for all of its keywords. So this is really important because you can see how the product has fared over a longer period of time rather than just uh, where it's at today uh, because we always need to take into account seasonalities, holidays, and other uh, unique events that might affect the positioning of a product as we're doing our product and keyword research. So this is a brief overview of the Rank Tracker. I hope you have a better understanding of how you might use it to do keyword research uh, for a prospective product that you're considering selling. And I'd just like to wrap up today by inviting you to visit our website that's linked in the description to learn more about the eGro tools. If you have any questions or would just like to get in contact with me, uh, you can email me at rob at egro.io. I'd be happy to get in touch with you to answer any of those questions or just learn more about your needs as an Amazon FBA seller. Thanks very much for watching.